Hi guys, my name is Ryan Mystery and I'm part of the Composites team here at Oxford Brooks Racing. Today I'm going to show you through step by step the process of lam laminating our chassis. So currently we're laying down the first ply. This is the most important ply as this we can see on the final chassis. We've got to ensure that all the fibres are lined correctly and that all the offsets are um, correct to the ply book. Here at Oxford Brooks Racing we use pre-impregnated carbon fibre. We use this as it makes the manufacturing process a lot easier as we don't have to infuse the resin and it also reduces weight on our final chassis and all our composite parts. So for, for this year's chassis we wanted to try to save costs wherever we, found, wherever we found possible. So one way that we've managed to do this is by carrying over as much of our moulds as possible this year. So almost all of the surface geometry from the rear bulkhead to the front bulkhead is staying exactly the same but we wanted to change some of the locating inserts, some of the location points across the chassis, especially around the front suspension area. Uh, the way that we've done that is from our moulds from last year we've cut out, dremeled out all the areas where we had locating fixture, locating fixtures. We've also had our patterns remachined, but only in the critical dowel hole locations. So everywhere here that you can see a dowel pin, we've had those areas on our patterns remachined. And then to, to transfer that over to the moulds and then the final chassis, we've obviously cut out areas of the moulds which are changing for this year and relaminated in patches of moulds. This is exactly the same process that you'd use if you had a chassis that was broken trackside and you needed to patch it, but we're obviously doing that to a, to a mould. The surface finish has come out uh, really nicely. It was follow the same surface profile as the pattern, so it should stay exactly the same as last year. just allows us to move inserts around the car uh, at a lower cost. After laminating down our first ply, we debulk it. So this is where we apply a vacuum pressure onto the ply to consolidate it within the chassis geometry. We have finished laminating the outer skin and after every two plies we debulk to ensure consolidation. The next step is to apply peels, peel ply which we have done here. This is like a fabric material that pulls out a tiny bit of resin from the prepreg to provide a rough surface finish once it's been through a cure cycle and that rough surface finish will help with uh, bonding of the core and hard points. Currently we are laying core down into our chassis supplied by Corex. We use an aluminium hex core which helps increase stiffness in certain areas of the chassis and also gives the chassis some thickness and some geometry. We stick the core down using glue film uh, which will heat up during the cure and bond to both skins helping the adhesion between the core and the skins. And finally we also use rower cell strips which is a lightweight foam to help create other dimensions and geometries within the chassis itself. Also at core stage we add aluminium hard points into our chassis. These help with the compressive loads when we bolt on a component to the chassis itself and reduce the loads going through the carbon skins. Today we have come down to our sponsors at Silverstone Composites to bag our outer skin. Let's go in and see what's happening at the moment. So currently we are adding an orange putty around the dowel pins. This ensures that when it comes to uh, bagging the outer skin, the dowel pins don't pierce the bag. So now we've back down the bag and we put it into the autoclave. We've ensured there's no leaks and it's fully consolidated in all the corners. And effectively an autoclave applies positive pressure to the bag, ensuring maximum consolidation and also applies heat which cures the resin. It will go in the also clear for about maybe three or four hours where it will slowly ramp up the temperature, hold it stable for about two hours and then slowly ramp it down and that's when, that's when we'll be able to take it out of the also clear. We've got the outer skin back from Silverstone Composites and we've peeled off the peel ply and sanded down any high spots of resin. Now we're going to bond in our front roll hoop with uh, 3524 which is an aerospace grade void filler. We are finished bonding in our front roll hoop. We had to ensure that the mould was parallel to the ground so that our front roll hoop is up perpendicular to the ground. It's being held in place currently by our 3D printed bonding jigs to help 
it's set in the right position whilst the 3524 cures. So once the core stage is finished, we then laminate the inner skin. We ensure all the dowel pins are pushed through to make it easier to drill out the holes. We bolt things onto the final chassis. So you can come and have a look. The inner skin has now been fully laid out. Dowel pins have been put through and then we're ready to do the joining stage. Come down to Today to join the chassis, we've done the first part which is putting the lap belt up into both halves and toggling it together so that it sits flush with each other and holding the two halves of the chassis together. We have now finished the joining stage of the chassis where we have laminated the patch of the front roll hoop to fully encapsulate it and close it off. Now we're on to the bagging stage. So with this final chassis bag, we use three bags, two internal sock bags, which go to either ends of the chassis and one bag that goes around the whole chassis itself. The two internal bags will be sucked into the inner skin. So, an, uh, so the air trapped between the outer bag and the inner bags will be sucked together, providing a clamping force on the inner skin to fully consolidate it as much as we can. now finished demolding our OBR23 chassis. We've got a new, new few new features for this year including a front bulkhead cutout and if you look further across the bay we can see the evolution of our chassis from OBR21 to 22 and finally now to 23. I'd like to thank you for watching this video on how to build a chassis with Oxford Brooks Racing.